Hi guys, and thank you so much for joining. So, for this technique today, we're gonna do uh, Q-tips. I really got inspired by this vintage Soviet Times postcard. And I thought, why not recreate it, but using Q-tips. So to start, we do still need a small brush, and this is watercolors, and of course, watercolor paper over here. I want to have some greenery. I have two greens that I'm using, and I'm just gonna kind of jump between the two of them. Okay, I think this is enough with the greenery. Uh, now I want to take some brown and do the little branches here and there. Don't make the branches, like I, I almost want them to be uh, disappearing from time to time. So if you're doing a line, it's okay if it kind of breaks. If anything, it makes it a little more artsy. I think that's all I want. Now just let's have it dry. Now with the now that it's dry, let's take the Q-tip. And we're gonna start with the blue flowers. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, I'm gonna use the blue and I'm gonna use a bit of the purple later on. Right now, just the blue right onto the Q-tip. Uh, I had it pre, uh, I, I had water on the Q-tip. So then when you put it into the color, in the watercolor, it's a little more softer. And now we can even try to create actual flower, like if you do three dots. The less water you have, the darker the blue is, which is actually great. And for example, when it goes very light, this is perfect to kind of have a little bit of lighter colors. Also, if you twist the Q-tip, it will create a nicer, um, kind of nicer imprint versus if you just push it down. And after a while, the Q-tip becomes very, um, fluffy so that's when I'm using the other side so I'm gonna wet it and I'm gonna go and use the purple now just selectively not everywhere in some of the flowers perfect now let's have it dry Okay, great. This is my favorite part. Let's start with the yellow for mimosa. So here we have our Q-tip. Wet it a little bit into the water and I like to start with the lighter yellow. This is almost like lemony yellow. Okay, now that we have a lot of the light yellow, we're gonna go with the other side of the Q-tip onto the darker egg yolky yellow. So here it is. I think it's a very fun, easy thing to do. Uh, looks kind of vintagey, kind of cool. Notice I also did some yellows where the blue is, kind of the centers of the blue flowers. And by the way, you can write maybe happy birthday over here and it becomes a really cute birthday present, like birthday card. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you try this and see you next time. Thank you. Bye.